everybody, Kirozaki Kuro here in Tokyo, and today I'm going to be talking about mask. Thanks to Just Just Inspirational, he, he sent a couple of、uh, messages about masks, and he said he got、uh, a bag. It's basically a film bag, as I, I was mentioning before. You have different types of film bags, and one is a 120 film, then it's a 220 film, and that's basically just the, the length of it. But there's actually a couple of ones that c o m e s with a mask. You can actually get the 6x6 for format, like the Uh, the Hasselblad, it will just be shooting squares, or you can even get the 645 one,、uh, which will be 6 centimeters by 4.5 centimeters, and that would be basically like the little small cameras. And he was wondering about my mask, and he, because once you put that thing in, obviously you're not going to be shooting the whole 6x7 that it will show you here, so you need to mask that to, to be you know, just aware of how to shoot it. Now I'm shooting a digital back here, and this digital back. Um, if you look at the specification, and it shows that、uh, for the Aptus 5 is、uh, 48 by 36 uh, cent- uh, millimeters. So 48 by 36, that is the sensor size. And the 7 is also the same. The Aptus 8, which is a 40 megapixel one, is a 44 by 33. And the Aptus 10 would be 56 by 36. And the Aptus 12, which is the 80 megapixel one, that is 53.7. Uh, times、uh, 40.3. So none of them would be actually making the 6 by 4.5.、Uh, the closest one would be the 80 megapixels, which is a huge one, and that still doesn't give you the, the, six, the six centimeters, the 60 millimeters. It will give you 53.7. And the 4.5 on the side, it would actually be just 4, 4 centimeters and like 4.3 millimeters. So 40.3 40 millimeters. So We still don't get that sensor.、Uh, maybe by now we could have maybe something like the 100 megabytes, 100、um, megapixels、uh, sensor. They're getting close to the, to the actual 6x4 FOI, but still not there yet. So we are actually looking at the smaller sensors, and this is one of the biggest ones,、uh, the 35 and the 25, but this has a better、um, ISO control than that. And now I'm going to go ahead and take this back off like that. And just show you this. So that's the sensor size right there. I'm going to put this down here. And I'm going to go ahead and take out the mask that I have in here. Because I want to show you guys something very interesting. You know, according, he was wondering, just in inspiration, was wondering how to make a mask. So I'm going to pull out the mask over here. And this mask was given, me,、uh, given to me. And because it was used, they didn't want to sell it to me. And it's pretty darn dirty as you can see. And I cannot clean it. I've tried everything, even soap and whatever. And I just can't clean it. And you can see the, the little purple is glare and stuff like that because it has some coating. And、uh, like whoever made it, made it kind of well done. It, the, the, the print is not on the front, it's not on the back. I think it's, it's like the sandwich in there. It's pretty cool, but、um, basically, all we really need is this black part right there. And I'm going to show you something really interesting. You see that size in there? And now check on the sensor size. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but the sensor size is actually exactly the same as that. And we can prove it. So I am looking right now at like 48.18, or of course, you know, I'm just eyeballing it a little bit. And as you can see, it's 48.18. And if I go to this one over here, it's exactly the same distance、uh, on the length. So it's 48.8. So if I do this, the side one, like over here, it shows me that, that、um, it's 36.3. And if I put it over here, it's basically the same. I can, I can pretty much tell it's 36. So it does give me my 48 by 36 that I was、uh, talking about, the size of the sensor. So that is great. Now, before this gets any dust in there, I'm going to put it back into the camera. So we learned one thing this mask over here, it does give me my, my 36 by 48, and it gives me two times. And this mask over here has this thing right in the middle of it. So It does have some cuts in here and there because it needs it for the, for the specification of the camera. If you're planning to put it on top of your viewing screen,、uh, basically you don't need it. But as you can see, it's as big as a viewing screen. It actually covers the, the edges all the way to the end. So if you're going to put it right in the middle of this, you don't need that much. 
if you're thinking about the viewing screen, I'm going to go ahead and measure the inside of it. Like if you're planning to do something inside of this. And this gives you maybe 40, uh, 60, 65 millimeters, pretty much. 65 millimeters by 65 millimeters. And I'm measuring with these tips over here. So 65 millimeters by 65 millimeters will give you like, if you want to put something on top of this, which um, I don't recommend because uh, if you have something on top of your screen, it, when you move the camera, it may fall out. So it's better to have it on the bottom part of your screen and then the screen will be on top. And that way you get like a little glow of that. Now, because this thing is so dirty, uh, I, I can see a lot of dust and scratches, especially when I'm using my 15x loop. I can see all the mess in here and I have to focus through that. And uh, yeah, that's kind of... It's kind of not exactly what I want, so I'm going to take this opportunity to actually create one of these. And they're not they're not difficult to make. Now, there is a couple of options to make. Uh, this is basically just a plastic -y thing where you can actually get maybe like a, what is it called, transparent film, you know, like the ones they use to make the cartoons and stuff like that. And you just put like this. There are films and you can write on top of them. Uh, you could design this thing in Photoshop, uh, taking the measurements of your of your camera. You basically just measure where where is the where you're gonna be getting the 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 little cuts like this is for the LEDs and these these are for the little circles and the circles basically are let me get it to zero okay so the circles are pretty much maybe five yeah they're five millimeters circles so they're five millimeter cuts and they're cut basically right pretty much right at the middle. So you do one in the middle and one up here and one up here and you do this this cut over here which is um, 20 millimeters wide and it would be like 4.7 so like 5 millimeters deep so 20 wide 5 deep and you do that cut right in the middle right in the middle and these ones are separated for um, like three millimeters so you do three millimeters up and down and you do a five millimeter circular cut in there and the top and you have the basically the outside of it and you can do anything inside now this thing over here when you put it up here you can see it actually covers and it gives you the edge of the actual picture so if you should in portrait or landscape so you don't need to move this thing like this or like that and that's a very helpful thing uh, the actual cool thing of this is that um, that you can see through this which is a grayish part you can see uh, you could probably see my finger there crossing entering through the gray part right there so it's it's kind of like a like a masking like a sh shadowing image so you can see what is outside your image and what's inside so you can see if you're missing something or not uh, I find that to be actually kind of bothersome to me because not all the time I actually need to have this thing showing me what is outside at the contrary sometimes i see through the camera if it's too bright or whatever i cannot distinguish what is inside or what is outside so i wish that i didn't need to see the the outside part that i don't need to see so for this um experiment or or for this thing um, what i'm going to be using it's i'm going to be designing uh, one of these things over here i'm going to be designing one of these and I'm gonna be building it. Now there's a couple of options you can do. You can do a print, like a toner print in one of those um, transparent slides and basically just cut the slide like that and cut the little holes and this will be your print. It will be made out of toner, uh, black and white, made laser print. Uh, there's a couple of other prints you can do. Maybe you can even like glue it on the back or whatever. Um, but you have to be like really careful with the plastic inside otherwise it's gonna get a whole lot of mess in there and that's something that you really 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 don't want to have let me see if I can show you guys I don't know if you can tell there I'm not sure probably not oh maybe like on the light so you can see all those scratches and dust because it's, it's just plastic right so plastic will not be is not scratch resistant whatsoever so yeah it gets it gets really marked out so, but I would like to have something to show me like the edges of it without showing me what is outside my screen. So, uh, one thing would be designing in Photoshop. You just do this, uh, you just do this square, which is uh, 70, 77 maybe. Yeah, 77 
times 77 millimeter at uh, no wait 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 times 71 times 77 yeah 71 times 77 and you can make this thing in Photoshop and then just just print it on a transparency paper and transparency film sheet and just cut whatever you need and as long as it's, it's a little bit hard you see it's, it's not all weak but it doesn't it doesn't you know it doesn't bend it's, it's pretty sturdy right there but not like super hard it is not so as you can see it's like right between my fingers it is not so thick like if you go thicker than this you maybe uh, are pushing the the viewing screen out so you can do it that or you can do what I'm about to do this and right now um, I've seen somebody uh, who has like a little plastic thing on top and he he would just actually on top of this he would just like put the plastic layer like this or like that depending on what what uh, angle he's shooting if shooting landscape or portrait so what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I'm gonna design this thing uh, and then I'm gonna use one of the papers so here in Japan I went to um, a little crafting shop it was actually a, a 100 yen shop which really like one dollar shop in the States and I got a, a couple of interesting things which I'm gonna be working with uh, one thing I got was this and it's um, basically a section paper and you can make it drawings and it does have already like the, the numberings um, I'm sure you can see them right there there so everything is cut by millimeters and you can see the centimeters cut and they actually they're cutting over there by five five centimeters and ten centimeters so it's actually really cool when you're trying to because you don't need to measure everything and you can just follow the lines <laughs> that's pretty easy to make now actually I use this paper to design the pieces that I'm using for my double grip in my camera and these are basically these are basically real size pieces that, that I use so I'm using the I'm showing this the circles of the holes and uh, the screws that I'm using and I'm using the cuts and I basically saying this is one piece um, this is another piece this is a third piece and and I have these other pieces that I that I design basically for the for the grip that go inside so I took this to the machinist and we figured out some extra measurements that I needed and these two holes are supposed to fit in there and this is how I connect it so that's that's how I designed it and this is basically the actual size of the pieces that I'm using in my camera so I'm gonna go ahead and do that mask in here and um, let's see how this goes so obviously you don't need this I'm just gonna use it as a as a guide but I am gonna give you guys the the actual sizes of this so sideways is 77.18 millimeters so basically 77 millimeters and then from the top and the bottom would be pretty much 71.5 but I'm gonna leave it at 71 so 77 and 71 and that's what we're gonna be using so I'm gonna go ahead and write 77 and 71 like I just said it's uh, 5 millimeters thick holes on the edges and this is the five millimeters in and the 20 millimeters wide so you can see like it's right in the middle so perfectly down now I need to make my actual uh, my actual sensor size center it and draw it out here so I know my sensor size would be a 48 by 36 So I got this to get the center of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw like 48 by 36. So I need to cut this in half and make it wide and for each side. So 48 would be on the length side or actually will be on both sides. So what I need to do is to make a square, a length for the 36 and a length for the 48 on each side of this uh, this ramp. I'm going to make it right like a little bit harder. So 
I have the center crossed like that so I need to make like the line for the 36 and a line for the 48 which will be the last one so 36 and 48 and then do that on the other side like this and then I will get like the longest one align with the shortest one like this and align the longest one with the shorter one like that and that would give me the the actual um, image that I'm looking to get for both of my sensors that I'm that I'm crafting in here so 48 divided by 2 that will be 24 and 36 divided by 20 is 18 so I just need to go from the center 24 18 and 24 to both sides alright so I got the, the dots there 18 and 24 18 and 24 and all of the sides now I'm gonna I have to align this and uh, the, the inside ones with the outside ones and the on the on the on the inside ones of the outside over here on the line align them with this one so basically I'm just gonna make lines like I'm just gonna make all kinds of lines in here so lines like this and lines like that just to align all of this and and then I will remark the ones that I need to cut off all right now there's a lot of lines in there now I'm gonna remark the ones that I need to 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 get rid of just basically get the outside ones with the smaller ones and the in inside ones with the larger ones so the outside ones would be the small the small ones like right here and the inside ones would be larger ones And do the same on the other side. And there we go. So we got something like that. We did a great job right here. And now, one of the other things that I found on the uh, 100 yen shop it's uh this thing just color drawing papers and they're basically just papers of a bunch of colors one of the colors is this black one over here and as you can see there's a bunch of colors so you can make all your masks you want i'm definitely going to be using just black because I like black so i'm going to grab with the, one of these colors right here and just pull it out I like this matte kind of kind of view, so it will definitely help on my my photo shoots. And all I need to do is just basically cut the seven seventy one by seventy seven, cut off the circles, and cut off the center piece over here into this thing that I mark over here. Just cut cut out of there, and that way I would not have a bothering piece of um, a bothering piece of um, plastic there so okay bother with me I'm gonna go ahead and, and make the cuts of this and make my little custom made mask and I'll uh, I'll be right back with you guys. let's speed up this so another thing that I found on the on the 100 yen shop would be this cutting board it was also one dollar and another thing that I found was uh, this cutting knife so just grab it like that it's a little cutting knife right there and I'm going to be using this cutting board basically just to mark it and cut our little guy over here. That's all the cuts that we needed to do. It should be all cut in the middle. There we go. It's everything's cut. All right, so we, there it is. 
pretty much done as you can see guys it's it's pretty much on the same size as the see it didn't it didn't change anything so it's it's basically the same as my my mask over here i just got the measurements put it right in the middle as you can see it's it's not uh, nothing out of balance it's exactly the same size as this 70 77 by 71 and I'm gonna go ahead and put this mask, which doesn't have anything in the middle, in my camera and see how that looks. So there's the inside of the Mamiya, and obviously I'm checking out my focusing screen, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Uh, I have the space, the cut over here for the LEDs that are in the bottom over here, and these two grips on here. So they need to go on this side because I have the two grips on this side and the one on the other side right here. So just basically just put it like that, just let it fall in there. And as you can see, it doesn't fall inside. It's actually pretty sturdy holding in there. The corners actually stopping it from falling out because of the size, the 71 by 77. And it just falls very nice in there. And because it's not so big and not so fat, it basically just fits so perfect right behind this bag over here. And that's pretty much it. So if you guys want to see how it looks, it's it's right there. Uh, let me see if I can get another angle. All right, so basically I just put a tissue there and a, uh, and, and a phone glowing up to the tissue so I can get the front part of this thing. So you, there you go. You can see that's the mask that we cut it and it's just perfectly right there. And we um, I'm not seeing anything but white because it's just the tissue that it's been in front of the, the thing. But as you can see, it actually works pretty well. And there's absolutely nothing bothering me anymore there, like the, the dirtiness of the other film and stuff like that. So I can just put it there. Uh, I don't have nothing else to, to bother. I can just like, uh, I'm gonna be moving outside the, there. I'm just moving outside the, the thing. And you can see it's, it's just clean in there. The grain that you see is actually because of the focusing screen, but when once you focus something, um, once you get something on an actual focus, then it should be perfect. Now, I, d I don't have anything that to actually focus it. And I'm getting a little bit of a reflection out of here, out of the lens. But you can see it's the, the image that you're seeing right there is actually the phone on top of the of this thing up here. So, but yeah, it's, it's pretty clean. And that would definitely help me to get the idea. Now, if you want to go ahead and just do one side of it, then you can obviously take it out and flip it and whatever. You can actually put it on top of this. Uh, just right inside of here and maybe flip it but I mean it's just a mess to do that or you can actually put it like right above here and then just like flip it on whatever but and you can make it like a little bit thicker maybe a lot of plastic or maybe just make a couple layers and make it thick so it doesn't just jump out and you know put your viewfinder there and leave it there and that's that's one way to do it so I hope it helps I hope you guys liked it and uh, I hope to see you guys and another more comments and stuff. See you. Bye-bye.